So, this character is one I will wait with bated breath to play for as long as I must. They are a beam of happiness in the darkest of hours, and I swear they will be able to uplift even the most dour of people or situations. If you clicked on this video because of the Sunflora in the thumbnail, you are going to love the design of this character. My previous character video was a druid, and while Leshies typically scream druid to me, this character named Solara is a 7th level cleric. First, a little bit of background on Leshies. Leshies are your quintessential plant and nature based ancestry characters. They are guardians and emissaries of the environment, immortal spirits of nature temporarily granted a physical form, and take on a variety of shapes and styles, from fungal, fruit, and gourd leshies all the way to pine, cacti, and seaweed. They come in a variety of flavors and body types that can suit your playstyle and needs. So Lara is a leaf fleshy, who are known to be made of natural foliage, and if blown or thrown off a high location, fall to the ground with grace and ease, taking zero fall damage regardless of the height. To me, almost any kind of leshy can also have a flowered face, which is a character design choice a player may opt to have. Many of Paizo's leshy art out there, including the swashbuckling Dandy Lion, have very interesting facial features. Now that we've covered some leshy basics, let's talk about Solara's class. Clerics have two means of play. The battle-hardened, armor-wearing war priest, which focuses on attacking with a weapon and has access to spell casting, and the cloth-wearing caster, the cloistered cleric, who get the domain initiate spells from their god or goddess, and focus on spell casting over beating something with a glorified stick. They both play very differently, which is great as you get a variety of good feats for both playstyles without needing to create two separate classes with a lot of overlap. And regardless of which version of Cleric you play, you get access to the Cleric's Divine Font, which is free cast at your max spell slot level of Harm or Heal, depending on how much Charisma you have. Solara is a cloistered Cleric of Sarenre, the Dawnflower, who is one of the most common goddesses worshipped in Galorian, as she is a benevolent and kind being who aids the downtrodden and those lost in darkness. Solara, being a leaf leshy cleric, takes the form of a sunflower. They have the rare background known as Sun Dancer, which boosts charisma or dexterity, plus their free ability boost. It grants trained and performance skill and gains the fascinating performance feat. It's a lot of really nice stuff, but what makes this background rare is that fascinating performance is not only strong, but it also grants a plus one circumstance bonus to performance checks when in direct sunlight. Leshies also have some incredible ancestry feats for character flavor, and Solara took Harmlessly Cute, Undaunted, and Leshy Superstition through her Ancestral Paragon. Harmlessly Cute allows for her to make a Shameless Request, which is a peak role-playing option. Undaunted adds a plus one versus emotional effects, and make a normal success a critical success, which against being frightened is incredible. And Superstitious Reaction is really the only reaction she has, so will get used whenever she is targeted. Not only is Solara a beam of happiness and sunshine who dances within the rays of the early morning sun, she also has Bard Dedication and will sing while dancing to bring joy to her surroundings. She is literally too wholesome for almost any setting she is put in. To help round out Solara's focus as a healer, she took the communal healing and improved version of the feat, 
allowing her to heal herself or a second ally with every cast of a heal spell, which at level 7 are 4th level heals, so an extra 4 points of healing can be tossed around to whomever could use a sprinkling of cheer. Finally, as any good cleric and religious PC would be in Pathfinder 2nd Edition, Solara dipped deep into the religious training and has Master Level Religion. This allows for some interesting skill feats to be chosen, including Battle Prayer, a one-action, perfectly fitted filler ability that is a religion check versus the will DC of the target to take small bits of damage which is not enough to truly be dangerous, but this ability isn't a spell. It does 1d6 of alignment damage, which for Solara and Saren Ray is only good as the goddess is neutral good at a range of 30 feet. This ability can be used for all three actions on three individuals and doesn't have multiple attack penalty which means you can open up with this ability if her spells wouldn't yield the best effect. She also comes with Bon Mott, which, instead of insults, will be the most wholesome comments you've ever heard in your life. Making any foe that is on the receiving end really question why it is that they are attacking something so uplifting, making them have to give a compliment back all in the heat of battle. Unless they are undead. Then they get the battle prayer, and no wholesome comments. I won't go over every spell in Solara's basic kit, but I will gloss over a few worth mentioning. First, let's look at the Dazzled Condition. Your eyes are overstimulated. If vision is your only precise sense, all creatures and objects are concealed to you. Concealed being a flat DC 5 check for every attack and single target spell, as AoEs are not susceptible to this. And since not a lot of creatures have two precise senses, this will yield a lot of results for your party, keeping them safe from harm and allowing you to throw out more damaging abilities. Saren Ray's domain spell is Dazzling Flash, which at 5th level auto heightens to become a 30 foot cone that can dazzle or blind anything caught within its radius, friend or foe alike. A 3rd level spell called Searing Light is a 5d6 spell attack that deals an extra 5d6 if against a fiend or undead. 10d6 damage is nothing to scoff at with a range of 120 feet. And at 4th level is Radiant Beam, which is a 120 foot line of 5d10 good damage that can also dazzle. So Lara has a bit of a theme, and that is being the brightest little flower in the whole garden. She will dazzle you in time, and then move on to the next target to dazzle them too. Solara has just dazzled you, and all you see before you is... the subscribe button. Do give it a click, so that you may bask in her cheerful demeanor once more. I don't know when I'll get to play Solara as a PC, but let it be known now. It isn't soon enough. I just know that as a NPC, I imagine the party waiting patiently to meet the leader of a temple and possibly really anxious about it as they have a big favor to ask, only to hear singing from behind them and a small flower dancing about and light beaming from behind the flower itself joyfully greeting them as she states that she is the head of the temple with a big old grin on her face. I hope you enjoyed this character concept and use it as fuel for your next PC or NPC as there are so many wonderfully flavorful choices for you to pick from, regardless of which ancestry or class you go with. I cannot wait to share my next character concept with you all, but till then, may the dice be in your favor.